ወአን ተከቦ ዲላ ረዲደ ባስ አን ባዲ ያለደ ወመተን ምክን ኑ ተለደ ተለበ ምታለ ኑ ፒቲ እንጀን ቱ እንጀን ቱ ሙከ እንጀን ቱ ፓምነ ከጀን ቱ ግሞን እንደ ቃሎ ግሞን ቶር ምክን ነጎል ምቂ ሎጊን ደም ሎጊን ባሬ ዋክሄሎ ኑ አነማ እንጀን እንተን እንግሬዲ እንተን ከጎል ነ ኮን ወጥ ፐርኮር ፒን ቴሬ ምተል አርመና ቴሬ ምተል አርመና ለላ ምን ባራም ዲዲታን የደከል አርመና ለኛም እንቶ ዋዝ ማለ ጀን ጓዝ ነው ማን ላኳን እ ዋዝ ማለ ኩኪ ፋሚሊ ጋር ኮን ሪል ምታል ኮን ሊንግ ኩኪ ከዶዋ እንታዲ ለከርኔ ወፋይዲ ለቶኒ ደም ኮን ጓዝ ሊንግ ማናን ብገን እ ለማና ነው ጂም ዘዋ በበረ በበን ከነ የቆስከ ก็ยังจะเปิดคอร์สก็จะฟังบอสให้จะฟังอยู่แค่คนเดียวเหมือนกันเพียงเลยเอ่อเดี๋ยวคอมพิวเตอร์ลาสไลด์ของคนจะ
Now, Pastor, me and Jim, I would give me a Me and Jim, one. I did your job, that I did come make a job at all. I would give me a great deal. A long way on and on and a couple of people take a check. We go right up on a point. Tell them before you feed a one. Dunk on the joker, right penny to get a number of burden carrier. Large air, come, a war on them. Young and now. Can I move on a jacket young? Come, a dog. Come on, 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 Young and I'm more of a young again. When I like one and one, we go for one of it. I can't and you're come, you're a chimp. A long nerd, chimp, you're not one, a comp. One comp, a gen of one. Ray Raycott, which you call a wee unit one, a good community, that one who are looking one up on the jacket and like a paper. Ray did a double long. Jangan kau nak jaga dulu, kau cuci jaga wah, cuci kau mohon beri dengan orang lain. Nanti jangan kau ni mesti nak wajib mak kau kau, kau tahu juga. Kau gaduh pun, kau kena bantu. Dia wajib kau kau ni mesti rayu bayi bola. Kalau macam ni, kalau macam ni tahu juga, makan mak kau kau. Ini sih dah. Jadi mesti cakap lagi, nak wajib mak kau kau. Tapi lagi kau nak wajib kau tahu juga. Jaga bangun, berdiri lari lagi. Mesti mahu aku kong, begini jaga betul. Jadi tahu juga. Begini yang mesti lagi je, dia dia ni. Mesti mui kat tempoh ni. Mesti kong pun, kadai ni jaga dia berdiri lari bangun. Jangan kong ni jaga lo. Mesti bangsa zat jauh pun jaya jalan kan, kena kong. Di parit kat di parit dor. Jadi pada lari mesti kong mah, jadi kong rong poin dia. Mesti kau mahu dek kau kongrong poin dia tu enak je. Kau bawa pak dia kan? Kau ni jadi bos. Kau nak pak lawak pun pun. Pak kau nora. Kau je, kau mangga, kau lahir, kau luang je, kau kan bela mak dia. Dah ramai kan yang kau dah rasa. Kau pak lawak pun, kau kan jangan yang keras. Mesti aku yang kau berjaga dengan kau ni. Kita kau ni buat macam mana? Saya dah macam tu. Kalau makan malam tu kan, kita makan. Kalau kau belok pun, kita cakap macam tu. Macam kau pun buat. Kalau ikut ni cuma jangan orang kian. Banyak orang 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 orang. Lari je kan jangan lalu lama pun. Jangan kau anu buku arma apa tu kan? Ino. Macam tu malam tu. Lautan kau pelik kan? Kalau lakukan ni encang. อเมริกาจะมาดูกันตรงนี้ตรงนี้ไปไปทบไปไปไปแต่ประเทศนี้เรื่องจริงเรื่องเป็นมุ่งเรื่องเป็นจริงเรื่องไหนได้ได้คน
เมื่อเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือนเดือ
ก็ลาบ้านเอาไปที่กันด้วยที่กันฟ้าลาบ้านเอาไปที่ที่ไม่ได้จ้ะเดี๋ยวเจ้าก็ชิมวุ่นวายก่อนเดี๋ยวเรา
suffer in this world. Even when we try to do good things, we suffer. When we do bad things, we suffer. When we don't do anything, we suffer. So regardless of whatever we do, we suffer. And that's why we are asking ourselves, how long? Let us have a word of prayer. Father, as we continue to explore this question, how long? Speak to us. Reveal your goodness in our lives and may we live for you in each and every way in Jesus' name. Amen. The book of Psalms 13, one and two. Thirteen, one and two. Each one your We are still asking our question, the question, how long? And I would want you to read it. Oh, can you read it? 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 Can you as we have looked at this question, and we have realized, we ask God, even ourselves, how long? How long, God, will you forget me forever? God, will you hide your face from me? How long, God, will I continue to struggle in my mind? How long, God, will I continue to suffer in my heart? How long will my enemies triumph over me? And as we look into this question, we had to appreciate one thing that we are told in the book of uh, Jeremiah 1 verse 5 that even before we were formed in our mother's womb, God knew us. And he sanctified us. Some Bible says, a version it talks of, he anointed us. That we are not by accident. If your mother told you you are an accident, go and tell your mother today you know you are not an accident. Because the Bible tells us God selected us. And when he selected us, he was able to get what he wanted in our lives. You know where I come from in Kenya? We always say that you might you will know your mother when you see her but you believe who your mother says your father is. But sometimes the person you are told is your father is not your father. Sometimes when your mother says this is your father, you know very well it's not your father. You look at him and you say, ah, this one is And you look at your neighbor and you say, this one looks more like me. But the Bible tells us that we are not by accident. We are not by accident. We are not an accident. We are not by accident. We We that we, the Bible tells us from the book of uh, Psalms 139, 13, and 14, that God was able to leave us in our mother's womb. And, and we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So when somebody comes and tells you, you are not beautiful. Tell them, ask my creator. Talk to my creator. Because all of 
of us are beautifully, all of us are fearfully and wonderfully made by our Creator. So if God knew us before we were born, and he selected and anointed us and he made sure we were fearfully and wonderfully created created in the image of God then why do we suffer? the question we are asking why do we suffer? and as we continue to consider why we suffer and how different people have suffered we looked at Hannah in the Bible who was weeping bitterly with deep anguish she was not only weeping but she was in deep anguish weeping bitterly because God had closed her womb she had no children nothing she had done to deserve it but she because she had no children her poor wife Perina used to mock her laugh at her Hannah had a lot of sorrow in her heart. We looked at another Bible character. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph was a young boy who was very obedient to the parents. And as one day as a young boy he was taking food to his brothers because the brothers hated him because he was so loved by his parents they decided to throw him in a pit and then sold him for money selling your own brother for money your young brother for money who had done nothing wrong and hated because your parents loved him more. As a young boy, he was sold to a place where he couldn't even speak the language. He became a slave and he went ahead and said, how this young boy grew up in a lot of hardship asking the question, how long? And as he asked the question, how long? As he continued to grow up as a slave, the wife, Potiphar's wife, decided to actually falsely accuse him. Because he refused what Potiphar's wife wanted. And he was thrown into prison. And Joseph, and Joseph for many years he asked God how long how long will I continue to suffer? How long God will you forget me in this strange land? How long God will you hide your face because Everything is only getting from bad to worse. And suffering more and more and more. And finally, we saw after many years, God was able to get him out of all his suffering and took him into the palace. We looked yesterday and we tried to understand when we are going through suffering, sometimes we become fearful. We are scared that we will die. We are scared we will not make it. We are scared because things are so bad. And as we looked into 
When we are waiting, we all appreciated that when we are waiting, sometimes we get scared. Because things are not working out well. If it is a marriage, it's only getting worse. Even your husband will decide they don't want you anymore, they marry another wife. Even your wife will say, I don't care for you, husband, anymore, and just doesn't care for you anymore. It reaches a point when you're asking, How long? Let us, as you try to talk to your children to know God, they seem to get further and further away from God. They are drinking, they are smoking, they don't go to church, but you are busy trying to talk to them. You ask God, how long, God? How long will I continue to talk to these children? How long will these children continue not to accept you. You're always on your knees praying. But your children get farther and farther away from God. Sometimes in life, we are at a situation. We are trying to have an income for the family. And for the more we are looking for money, for food and for uh, clothes to be able to uh, provide for the family. The more money runs away from you. So we are trying to reach money, more money. But the money is running away and you can't reach it. And you are suffering in your home. And you are doing everything you can. You ask God, how long? And as you are asking God, how long? You start being fearful. Why are you not be able to provide anymore? I might not be able to bring my children back to church. Why are you not be able to bring my children back to church? my husband again and maybe you are sickly you are sick you've gone to hospitals you've gotten medicine you've taken things to try and get better and as the more you try to uh, take medication to become better you get worse and that's how we looked at the story of the woman yesterday who was living for 12 years. The Bible tells us that she had gone and seen all the doctors. But her situation was getting worse. And she was being treated by the doctors. She was being treated by the doctors. And as she asked God how long she would continue bleeding. We talked about Imagining those days, if a woman had that particular season, and you know, 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 her husband must have left her already. And she must have been smelling. Because she is bleeding all the time. And she asked God, how long God? But when she heard of Jesus, she straight away went to the doctor. And the doctor said, you have to get to the doctor. We said, when we are a lot of problems. When we are suffering in this world, it is one problem after another. I had the accident. When I was recovering from the accident, I got COVID. And as I kept on trying to 
struggle to recover. The doctor said, no, you're not, you're not making it. Fear gripped me. But the question is, how what do we do when we are in trouble? Ask us as Christians while we are waiting upon God. I want us to look what should we do when we are in problems we are waiting upon God. Because we understood clearly that we can not be fearful. Because we understood clearly that we cannot be fearful. And we say the spirit of fear is not the spirit of God. As we read in the book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Paul said, Fear not given us a spirit of fear. But God has given us a spirit of power. God has given us a spirit of love. And God has given us a spirit of sound mind. And God has given us a spirit of sound mind. So when fear grips us, and you are in a lot of problems and you are suffering, you are in what should you do? As I was lying in bed, trying to get used to the idea I might never breathe on my own again, I prayed to God and I said, I know that you are not going to let me more the word of God. I continue to seek God through his word. As I waited upon God, I began to see the doctors had said there's nothing else they could do. While I was in bed, not able to do I continued to seek the word of God. It was 38 years. This man, this man, who we read in the Bible about, he was crippled. By the way, where is John today? Uh, John is not here today, John and you should be told I have missed him. John Carnivan, I wherever he is, but let that message reach him that I have missed him today. And as you know, Jesus came and preached the gospel to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in this uh, for thirty years. And he was born and he lived for thirty years and preached. Three years. A total of 30, 33 years, Jesus was in this earth. And when he was born, he was born in the womb. But we are told this man had been sick for 38 years. Meaning, five years, even before Jesus was born. Five years, even before Jesus was born. Meaning, when Jesus was still in heaven, this man was crippled and still sick. And would have made to the pool of Bethsaida. Jesus was born. He grew up. And uh, 30 years after 30 years, he started preaching the word of God. And this man was still sick. And would have made He could not walk. And he stayed at the pool of Bethsaida, trying to reach the water, the healing water, where the angel of mercy would come and heal people. But because he was crippled, he was not fast enough to reach the water for 38 years. He kept on having so much hope that he would be healed but was never able to make it to the tomb. By the time he made it, somebody else had gone there and got healing. I want to imagine you 
because the Bible says he was crippled. But he was not even walking with his own legs. Chances are maybe his legs could not walk. So maybe he was using his hands and sitting to try and get where he was going. Thirty-eight years. Thirty-eight years. Every day. He would wake up. Like and try to get to the pool. Every single day for thirty-eight years. And as he tried to get there. Always somebody else who gets before him. And the angel of mercy would heal that person. For 38 years, this man never gave up. For 38 years, every day, he would wake up and try to get there. Every day, this man woke up with hope that he would be healed. And he would be healed. And he would try to get healing. I don't know how long you have been suffering. I don't know how long you have been in sorrow. I don't know how long you have been in sorrow. I don't know how long you have had the problems in your life. But we are told this man, it was 38 years, every day he had hope in him. I don't know who is 38 years here. Yeah, me, I'm 39. Yes, 39. We are saying this man, he was trying to get to the pool when this man was born. And Every day, you try to get to the pool. You can see this is an adult man. You can imagine from the time he was born. This crippled man every day tried to get to the pool. Sometimes, when we are struggling, we are struggling. Sometimes when we are in pain and in sorrow, time seems not to move. I don't know whether you experience that. When you are sick, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are in sorrow, when you are in pain, when he saw this man. And he asked the man, do you want to be healed? This man had tried to be healed every day for 38 years. And now Jesus is asking him, do you want to be healed? This man every day would try to run to the pool. And you see someone else healed. And he would go back and wait. The following day, he would wake up again, try to get there. Somebody else would be healed. And he would go back. 38 years. And Jesus comes and asks him, Who do you want to be healed? And this man said, Well, I would love to be healed, but you know, I have no one to take me there. Jesus wasn't asking him, Why are you not healed? Jesus wasn't asking him, Why have you not been healed? But Jesus knew, even before Jesus came to this earth, this man had wanted to be healed. This man stayed in the pool of Bethsaida because he wanted to be healed. But Jesus asked him, Would you want to be healed? Instead of this man answering, he said, I have nobody. You know, sometimes when God comes through for us, and God wants to bless us. 
We start giving excuses. And God wants to use us. We start bringing doubt in our mind and trying to explain ourselves. As the story goes, Jesus told him, rise up. And he got healed. I don't know what you do while you are waiting. Waiting amidst your problems. From the book of Romans 12 verse 12. Romans 12 verse 12. We are told be joyful. Be joyful in the hope. Be patient. When you're going through tribulations. And faithful in praying. God is telling us when we go through problems. We should be patient. We should not complain. We should not give excuses. We should not try to feel sorry for ourselves. We should not fear. We are told when we are going through tribulations. We should be joyful. We are not happy because things are good. Because we have pain. We are struggling. We have problems. We are told to be joyful in the hope. Because we have hope God will see us. When you are waiting, you need to have hope. When you are waiting with your problems, you must have hope. When your children come home drunk, you must when your husband mistreats you, you must have hope. When your wife is nagging you, you must have hope. You must be strong and have hope. Hope because we are told to be joyful in our hope. And learn to have patience. To be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. To be patient. Not to start getting impatient. You know how long this back of my oh, oh God, no, 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 no. now it's too much, now it's too much. Oh, this back of, oh no, no, no. no, no, no. We are told that we should have hope. We are told that we should have hope. We are told that we should have hope. Yeah. And that hope makes us joyful even when we are and we are told that we should be patient. Patience is the fruit of the Spirit. Patience is the fruit of the Spirit. And we are told to be faithful. I want to tell you one thing today that there is strength in waiting. There is strength in don't give up. Don't give up. Do not do not. 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 There is strength in waiting upon God. We are told in the book of. Isaiah 40, verse 31. We all know that verse very well. And I would want you to read it. Then he said, Ah, oh, you are weary and tired. Then he said, Oh, my son, my daughter, my son, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, Amen. We are being reminded that we should be able, those who wait upon the Lord, and we are God will renew their strength. God will renew their strength. When you wait upon God, God will renew your strength. When you wait upon God, 
upon God. God will renew your strength. Amen. Amen. When he renews your strength, you are told that he will mount you with wings like an eagle. That even where you are seated, you are not able to do much. When God renews your strength, Lamentation 3, verse 24. Lamentation, you have to pass John, eh? Yes. 3, 3, 24. <laughs> yes, 3, verse 24. John, 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 it tells us when the Lord is your portion, when the Lord is your God, Lamentation says, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait upon him. I want to tell you, learn to wait upon God. I want to tell you today, learn to wait upon God. Learn to wait upon God. strength in waiting upon God. We are told from the book of Micah. Micah is the one after Jonah, by the way. <laughs> the book of Micah, 7 verse 7. Uh, Amen. It says, as for me, I watch in hope of the Lord. Remember what I told you that you must be joyous in the hope. You must be able to hold on to the hope of Jesus. Hold up the hope that God will see you through. You must be waiting upon God. You have no work. Maybe you have no family. Maybe you have you are struggling with so many things, one thing after the other. Micah reminds us that we must have hope. And it says, I will, but for me, I watch in hope of the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. You must believe that God will hear you. You must have hope that God will hear you. When you are waiting and asking God, how long, God? How long, God? How long, God? How long, God? Things are just getting worse. I want to tell you that is not the time you lose strength. God will renew your strength. I will tell you when God renews your strength. I will tell you when God renews your strength. You will be able to run and never get tired. And people Yeah. 